This is my Mostly Crock-Pot Holiday Baked Beans. You're going to start by soaking your navy beans overnight in some water so they soften, and then put them on the stove for an hour and boil them. If you need to, add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to soften your beans. Take that bacon, and you're going to fry that up until nice and crispy. And yes, your whole house is going to smell like bacon. Some people love it. Uh, you're going to take that and remove that from the grease, and then you're going to add your chopped onions right into that baking grease. Those onions you're going to cook until translucent, which is about five to seven minutes, and that helps those onions soak up that bacon fat and give um, a nice flavor to those beans. You're going to then add a little bit of garlic right into that onion mixture and chop up your bacon. You can do this by hand or with a knife. It's pretty easy at this point. Take those beans, put them in your crock pot. Then you're going to add that onion garlic mixture and your bacon right on top. Yum, yum, yum. Then you're going to add all other remaining ingredients. So you're going to add your spices, um, you're going to add uh, your Worcestershire sauce, everything else in this recipe. Here I'm adding my hefty amount of brown sugar, and then I'm adding the dark molasses. I love adding molasses to recipes. It gives it a really nice depth of flavor. It's one of my favorite things to use. Ooh, tomato sauce. And then give it all a really good mix. I love making these holiday beans because the canned beans just, you know, they're not as good. <laughs> and these beans really are standalone all on their own, even as a side dish. And they're really easy to make. So you're going to put them in your crock pot for six hours on low. Once that's done, you're going to put them in a glass dish and bake them at 350 until you're ready to mm. serve them. And they are Pull great. Them. Enjoy.